I want to start out and thank everyone for coming. I know that Chester would have liked having everyone here today. Today we are here to celebrate the life of Chester Beddington. Although I have never known Chester personally, there are still some great memories. Chester was an absolutely talented man, no doubt about it. It was said that he had the voice of an angel, but could scream like a devil within his music. Although Chester was on the road, he would make sure to keep in contact with his kids and wife, Tawinda. On most of his birthdays, he'd come home to his home in California. But this wonderful man has touched the lives of many worldwide with his touching lyrics and memorable tours. Chester has cared for many of his fans. Whenever he'd perform a song that's meant to be close to the heart, he'd get down to the fans and sing with them, take their phones that are recording, sing on the cameras, and even hug the many individuals around him. Chester Charles Bennington was born on March 20th, 1976. He went to school at Cantina High School in Phoenix. Chester was survived by six children, Jamie, Tyler, Lilia, Lily, Isaiah, and Darwin Bennington. Chester was in the band Lincoln Park. Not only that, but he also started his music career and other bands on the side as well. His first band was Great Days, and his second was Dead by Sunrise and Kings of Chaos, which ended in 2017 at Chester's time of death. Chester loved to sing all the time, especially before a show. He'd be warming up very loudly and driving his bandmates very crazy. His best friend and founder of Lincoln Park, Meg Shadona, mentioned in an interview after Chester's death, said, in quote, We were told in our last interview with him, or performance with him, that we were going to be next door to five second, or 30 seconds to Mars with Jared Leto. We would be most likely to hear them warming up. But to be quite honest, Chester was and is the loudest person I've ever met. You'd be sitting in a room talking to someone, and you'd hear Chester in the hallway screaming within pitch to warm up. We wouldn't be able to hear ourselves think, but I would do anything to get that back. If this man could shred on a ukulele, we were sure he could do anything, and he really wished that his friends Mike and Joe would stop drawing on him while he was asleep. Chester cared for so many of his fans. Whenever he'd perform a song that's meant to be close to the heart, he'd get down to the fans, sing with them, take their phones that are recording, and sing to the cameras, and even hug the many individuals around him. Chester has said many things throughout his life. One of the many things that he has said was, your anger is like the bubbles in a can of soda. The more you're shaken, the more you want to let it out. The longer you hold it in, though, the greater the size of the eventful explosion and the flatter the drink at the end. 